Do you think string theory is correct? And if yes, when do you think it will be proven? <laughs> I personally would love it to be correct. I've worked a fair bit on it and I've come back to it recently. I've just finished a paper uh, based on string theory in the early universe. I think string theory is the best theory we have for a quantum theory of gravity. Is it correct? That's another question altogether. I don't know. It, it's, you know, one has to test it and, and find ways to test it both mathematically and in experiments. And you can test things mathematically, that's a legitimate thing to do. The ma mathematically, I think it's fantastic. The, 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 the goal is just beautiful. The goal sort of being to, in one sense, to unify the forces of nature using the dimensionality of space-time, the fact that we might be in these extra dimensions and those extra dimensions play a key role in our understanding of the forces. So this allows gravity to be unified and it, it is perhaps the theory which is still out there which can describe gravity and the strong force and the weak force in, and the electromagnetic force in this, with this unified description of oscillating strings. There is no direct evidence of strings and it's proving quite difficult to actually determine and predict them because what began life as a relatively straightforward theory in the sense of there weren't many variants of it. There are now lots of variants of string theory and, and so to come up with a definitive prediction is quite, is quite challenging. What, that's what I've been trying to do in terms of inflation from string theory recently. So my hope is that we will be able to find some um, smoking gun evidence. That's, I worked on cosmic superstrings. We did the long video on that. And that's one example where string theory would provide something unique, but they've not been found. But maybe one day. Now, Will it be proven? Okay, so we did a video once, really, the case for string theory, and we talked about this thing on amplitude and, and, how, um, and how there was this sort of, you know, this mathematical result where, you know, the amplitude sort of went bad in general relativity, you know, when you scattered two gravitons and the amplitude went bad, it sort of wasn't mathematically consistent and then there was this mathematical completion of this amplitude equation which turned out to be string theory a theory of strings and I think I mentioned at the time that it was not clear whether that mathematical completion was unique or not now people have been working on this and we made that video years ago right so so actually there was a paper just last week on this topic and they are trying to what they're trying to do is they're trying to look at these these mathematical completions of these amplitudes and ask that question, are they unique? Now you have to impose certain rules of the game. Now there are certain rules of the game. You can say that, that I don't predict any crazy particles that don't make any sense, that uh, the kind of, it has the right symmetries in play, that there's certain healthy behavior. Now they, they ask that they throw in a few more like mathematical consistency conditions or at least plausibility conditions and they do they are pointed towards a unique answer, which is the one you get from string theory. There are a couple of loopholes you could, you could work in there, as I said, related to sort of mathematical properties, which maybe aren't so well justified. But nevertheless, they, they seem to be heading towards a unique answer. This is Cliff Chung and, and Grant Remen, who I believe in, in California. So these, these are writing, you know, this, this is active research, and there was a positive result in this direction last week. So does that proof of string theory? Well, up to those assumptions, it's saying if I want a weakly coupled UV completion of general relativity, and, 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 uh, then, then maybe, maybe I am pointing towards it, string theory as an answer. I think there's a lot of caveats in what I've just said, though. But it's active research and one with which there was recent progress. That then begins to propagate around the configuration. And you just get a buildup of these kinks, which also radiate. Uh, and so you get these extra beaming effects from these objects as well. You're just making this stuff up, aren't you? It's just great, isn't it?